Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and today we're taking a look at Nenbrini's Doubler. But first, this week's featured artist is me! <laughs> And I'm going to play a track from one of my many projects. This is from 2020, and it is Metheist World Divided. Let's do it! We are all slaves in a world divided. We sure are. And it was a different time back then in 2020 when that song was created on this very channel. Hello, welcome to the show. This week's featured artist is me being selfish and playing my own music. Because <laughs> Russ said it was okay. I asked Russ and he said it was okay. <laughs> so that was Metheist, one of my many projects. And you can find Metheist. There's a link pinned to the top of the chat if you want to check it out. Um... There's a Metheist page which, with merch and all the kind of stuff, the album, the EP and all that stuff. And for those of you who are, are craving more Metheist, it's coming and it will be in September when we have Songtember once again. It'll be the two-year anniversary of Metheist because the first one was done in Songtember 2020. 
and I'll be doing a new EP just for this year, so that's very exciting stuff. Um, you can actually see how all of that was made on this channel. There's a couple of playlists. There is a song Timber 2020. It uh, shows how the music was made. And then there is a Luma Fusion uh, playlist from 2020 for the Metheus clip showing how all that was made, the storyboarding, all that kind of stuff. So it was all done with a storyboard, all that kind of stuff. So good times. Hey, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the show. It's a, hopefully a fun one today. Let's. Uh, I'm Jade. This is How to App on iOS, where every day we take a look at apps, creating music, video, photography, all that kind of stuff. Uh, talk about mental health and well-being, have an interview with an occasional artist, and on the weekend I do a live stream. Hit like if you like the stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel. And let's say hello to everybody who's in the live chat right now. SM Borthwick Scott is here, and Thomas Christ too, Joe and Barry Glenn, and Andy Goldsby. Where am I going with that? Um, I have an idea. Hello. Uh, who else? Thank you all for being here. Hello, Kim Harden Hudson. And Leela's here. If you missed out on Kim and Leela's uh, first show, it was really cool. I got to catch a, a fair bit of it. I woke up, uh, well, time difference here, so I got to see that. And I, I feel like I, I can't rest until I've, we've got to sort out how Kim can play her music in StreamYard. We've got to sort it out. It's bugging me. It's been on my brain. I'm angry. I need to f need to fix it. Uh, hello, Russ. What's going on? What's going on, you want? Uh, who else have I seen and I may have missed? Let's keep going. Joe and Barry Glenn is here as well. Sai, what's going on? Are you back from holiday? Sai's been on holiday. Well, I call it a holiday. So I went on a holiday and went running and tortured himself. Andy Goldsby and Cy, the two running maniacs of, of the channel. Uh, I hope you're doing well, Cy. Good to see you. Missed you lots. Uh, Lou Reality. Hello, uh, Gazo of Oz is in Oz. Waking up nice and early today. Um, uh, who else do I see? If I missed anyone, I'll just scroll down to the bottom of the page. Uh, Kim, I got you. I got you, babe. <laughs> have I got everyone? I think so. I think I got you all. I think I got you all. We're always at the bottom. Mark, what's going on? Mark Bro. Mark Bro may not be here for a long time. He's just here. A quick stop. He'll catch the replay. Awesome stuff. Good to see you, Mark, as always. Um, I think an audible video is here to burp or blurp or whatever it is that he does. It's good stuff. Um, oh, oh, Kim. <laughs> I arrived, but I hadn't come. You'd know if I came. Um, wow. Yes, Sai is back home. A bit tired. Well, that's what happens, though, when you go on holidays and you go for a run. You're a maniac. You're a maniac. All right. Uh, Pete Johns is here. Hello. Hello, Pete. It's the party person himself. Pete Johns. He's brought the party with him. And Pete has a show on uh, a little while after this today. Which is Garage Band Weekly. Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band. What the hell am I doing? All right. Man, two coffees doesn't work for me. Uh, remember, folks, you can always get uh, uh, a, some memorabilia from the show. Get an official unt cup. If you feel like being an unt, you can get an unt cup. Russ is an unt. All right. Um, what, what is happening today? Shall we do some price drops or something like that? I guess so. We should move on with the show. Boom. Let's do it. Let's get over here. Price drops. What are there? Um, Borderlands Granular. Don't have it. Don't have it. No, not three coffees, Guzzo. Not at all. Borderlands Granular. I really should have this, shouldn't I? I should have it. Um, so... It is on sale. It's half price, $22.99 to $12.99. I really should get a hold of that. Um, Audio Kit Retro Piano. It's wicked. You should have it. Kajita is on sale. Same stuff as yesterday. Music Kraken, which we looked at at the end of yesterday's show. What a weird app, huh? What a cool app. Um, I'm, I, I was thinking yesterday, how can I do this? But uh, I, I'm going to try and do it. We're going to try and do it. Blease apps, all on sale. Stuff like that. Um, what I want to talk about too is an app that is on the App Store. It's not anymore. Uh, I just want to give you guys an update about an app because 
It's a cool app and it disappeared. It's called Lunar Lander. Um, I did a show on it way back, I think, a couple of seasons ago. Um, it's a delay app and it was really popular. Um, it, when it came out, it had some teething issues, and uh, but it, they got through them. It's been removed from the App Store and um, uh, the developer sent me an email yesterday before they made a, a public statement saying that if anybody has it, they apologize. It's been removed from the App Store because uh, it's been unable to be updated because they are unable to hire an iOS developer at the moment on their team because it's so hard being a developer in this crazy market that they're really struggling to uh, to keep on an iOS developer. So they, they're unable to update it. So it had to be removed. You, If you have it on your iOS device, you can still use it as an AUV3 in, uh, in a door, but you can't open it as a standalone. I don't know how long that's going to last. And they're hoping they're going to keep working on desktop apps and try and make some income to hire an iOS developer. How sad is that? All right. That's the state we're in with developers at the moment. They have to like go and focus on desktop material to go and have, make enough income to hire a new iOS developer. The race to the bottom is real, folks. Yeah, so it's a thing. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Today I will be f f sorting out your EP. I'm, I'm mastering Dan's EP. I didn't get a chance to look at it yesterday because I was very busy. So there you go. Hello, Dan Eckberg. I'm on it, mate. <laughs> All righty. Um, what, what are we looking at today? Speaking of apps, we are looking at... This from Nenbrini. Let's go over here and look at it here, shall we? I oh, will talk about the price first. It is $4.99. This is doubler. It is a, what do you think it is? It's a doubler. It's really, really, really good on uh, guitars. Really good on guitars. Really, really good on vocals as well. What it essentially is, in my opinion, is, you know that trick when you're too lazy to double up your vocals? And you just take one track and copy it into the next track. And then you do a little bit of pitch correction and you cheat. It's that at the uh, click of a button, but better. Yeah. Um, but it makes guitars act, and you're going to hear it. So I hope you've got most people have got headphones on today because you're going to need it for this because there's some subtle differences. And then there's some really great differences that you, you in headphones. You'll really hear the difference. Hello, Bear. What's happening? <laughs> Good to see you, Bear. So it's $4.99. It's really cool. Um, it is available also on the the PC, I do believe, and the, the Maco. The Maco Smacko. Uh, so there it is here. How much is it? I thought I saw the price earlier. $29.99. It's currently on sale from $79.99 to $29.99. On the uh, on the 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 desktop he does, desktop he does. Uh, here's some pictures of it. There's some sounds of it. So yeah, it's definitely on those formats because look, audio units, VST, AAX, all those systems. It's an eye lock. There you go. Um, and it's it's really cool. Shall we dive in and have a look at it? I think we if and should. I'll need a guitar, won't I? I will need a guitar. Let's jump out of here. Uh, so I'm going to do a few demos of it. I'm going to just play some guitar in it. I'm going to run some bass through it because it's really good on bass as well. I get to check out my new bass since it's been set up. Um, also, we might throw it through an acoustic guitar. We'll throw it through some drums as well because it's really good for drums too. Um, you can use it in a whole bunch of things. The, the imagination is only as uh, limited as you want it to be limited by the limitations of limits. Yeah. Um, all right. So what we'll do first is we'll open up AUM and create a brand new channel here. And we want to select a number two. Oops, don't want to do that. We want to go to hardware import. Audio fuse number two. Grab a guitar. We need a guitar. We'll get the, the meanie. That's what this guitar is now called, the Meanie. There it is, the Meanie, Meanie, Meanie. Uh, Mark is off to prepare supper. I hope you have a good supper, Mark. Um, I've got the Meanie happening here. I could get rid of myself from there. Can I do that? Oh, it worked. Awesome. <laughs> right, so we need some volume for this. 
Hey, we got some sound. Cool. Cool. Hello, Mr. Smith. All right. So what do we do first? We're going to need to bring this in here. We'll go full screen for now. And we need to load this Nembrini app, shall we? What, what shall we do first? I think, um, I don't know what to do in the chain. We'll, we'll load the Nembrini. We'll actually load Rhino first, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see which one, which way it sounds better in the chain. So we'll bring in Rhino. Oh. Far out Rhino's good, isn't it? Isn't Rhino spectacular? It just is, man. I'll go to my user and choose my new chainsaw effect. This is uh, the one I like the most. Sweet. So that's, that's just a plain sound there. Um, we'll bring in Nimbrini's doubler. Doubler. So you can use this as an AU or you can use it as a inter app audio and here it is very simple stuff let's run through turn down my guitar the controls right so up the top we'll rest my guitar for a second up the top here we have uh this little menu so this is your online product info when you click on this it takes you to that website we're at and it has the manual there you've got control inputs here so you can clear you can uh, go through your parameters channels so you, all that stuff midi channels you've got uh, all cc's here to play with you can clear all enable you have an about here so it just gives you a little about thing um, we'll come back to all this so you can hit plus and go through your tones and minus to go back through your tones uh, you have an undo and redo if you make a mistake. A and B channels. So you can actually, if you've got a, a tone that you create and you like it, but you want to compare it to another one, you can do that. You can go back and forward to compare tones. So if you change, make a different uh, change, you can just compare between them. You have an overwrite here. So this is a save and this is a save as. you got a garbage bin and you can turn off the tone as well. And that's basically it for the top of the guitar. Uh, let's talk about the knobs, all the big knobs. So we have sensitivity. Now the sensitivity knob is it adjusts the sensitivity of the transient detector, uh, which triggers the dynamic left, uh, and right stereo, uh, uh, panorama changes. Yeah. So it's, it's a, basically a transient sensitivity. Yeah. Uh, the pitch is pretty much explanatory. So when you're doing double up, when you double up, uh, say, a, a vocal track and you just copy one track and move it into the next track, you often use, uh, you change the pitch up a little bit just to give it a bit of variance. Yeah. So you have this pitch uh, knob here, which isn't, the, uh, and we're not talking like a pitch shifter. If you're looking for that, that's not what it's going to do. It's a very light, light uh, detune that you're adding here. It's not like a, it's not a pitch shifter. So be aware of that. Then we have this mono knob here, which is currently off. And uh, so the mono uh, is, is useful for uh, frequencies, yeah, for your for mono compatibility and to keep lower frequencies more solid. And then the last two, you have a left and right offset. So you can adjust these to maximum time offset on the left and right channel. And um, that's how you get like your drag. Right. Now, let's, we've got a guitar up here. I'm just going to go to the default. And we're going to turn this off and have a play. So it's pretty beefy already. Let's bring this in and turn it off just on the default. Now we've got like a little, it's, it's almost like a tremolo effect there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move this up the chain. And that's better.
Much better. That's a really, really big, wide tone. It's going on JDL. Let's bring that back in. We'll take off some of this, um, this gate here. Give it a bit more space. It's a bit of a tight gate. A nice big wide doubling effect now as you can imagine this is really made for solos and stuff like that you're gonna get if we bring in maybe a reverb or something at the end of the chain here uh, we'll just do a usual black hole or something oh listen to that let's take the size down a bit Take out some of this reverb, it's a bit big. Very big, fat sound, yeah? It's uh, quite cool. I like it. So we'll run through. So that's just the default sound. Let's go through some of the presets. I'll just open up the preset folder here to make it nice and easy. You've got a whole bunch of ones in here. You've got a bass synth, the guitar arp, guitar uh, left doubled lead vocal, OD guitar, a percussion loop, piano, gentle widener, snare flams, synth leads, uh, synth pads, synth sequencer, and ultra wide guitar. Shall we try the ultra wide? Wow. Nice stuff. So you can see with our uh, with our offsets here. So these are these create like a, a an offset. If we bring these in, Take them both hard. So now we've got like this hard left and right, very wide kind of sound. Uh, what's really cool about this mono is we can take this all the way out and then you're going to get a full stereo width. Take it 
take out this uh, reverb. We'll bring up this uh, gate a little bit. Sweet. There we go. <clears throat> so the mono, you can blend this in. So you can blend in a little bit of mono if we turn this all the way up. So it's really nice to be able to blend that in. And we've got our pitch control. So this all works in real time. That's what's beautiful about it. And you'll hear the pitch control when we throw it on some vocals. Let's go through some of the other presets here. Absolutely, that is what it is for, Thomas, to reduce phase issues. So let's go to this OD guitar. And again, some of these are really subtle. Okay, let's pull down the guitar for a bit. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab a bass. I'll grab a bass guitar and see what happens. Let me just uh, mute the sound here so you don't hear me unplugging things. Oh, we got a bass, look at that. We got a bass. My bass has just been come back from the Luthia and it's sounding really good. We'll take out um, Rhino from the mix here. So we've got this bass all rocking. Sweet. All right, let's give it a bit of volume. And. Um, I'm going to go to our factory presets and I'm going to turn on this bass synth just because I like it. Make sure all our knobs are turned up. So amazingly, my luthier took all the noise out of my bass. It sounds so much better. All right, let's turn this on. Going to give it a little bit of volume because it's a bass. Our presets and just go with the guitar, even just the default for now. Again, 
again, we'll pull this out and I'll just chug on an E so you can hear the difference that it's making. I'm sounding great today, God, it's early in the morning. <laughs> um, so you're just hearing, it sounds like fret buzz, uh, but it's actually because you're picking up the guitar through the microphone at the same time. And the more you play with it, the more you're going to get, you can create these really interesting chorusy effects and stuff. Uh, let's do a full wide sound here. And we'll bring this mono up a little, try and kill some phase. Let's bring that up there. So the main thing is what you're going to hear is when this is in the mix with things. Let's take that out of here. I'm going to throw it on some drums now. Let's do that. Let's go back over here. Make sure that's unplugged. Don't fall, bass. Don't fall. All righty. So let's open up some drums. So we'll open up a uh, hammerhead for now. And we'll just show you some flammy stuff you can do with it. Alrighty, we'll throw it on here. Doubler, boom. And I'll just bring in just some snares. Let's do some snares. See you later, Guzzo. So again, remember, this isn't a pitch shifter or anything like that. This is solely to give thickness. And you can hear straight away You're going to get thickness now again it's not anything that's going to like be a massive difference because you, you don't want you just want a slight doubling effect let's change the beat up a little bit should we do the metal one should we try um And you get like a really nice widening effect. Like, you ready? Here it comes. 
just thickens the fuck out of it. Everything just comes alive. does exactly what it says on the box and that's the most important thing so i'm going to throw some vocals on it now and then we'll go into some projects and start doing some stuff because i mean there's not really much to it you know it's this is an app i can't sit here and go and drone on and on about uh <laughs> leela <laughs> um i don't know audible that's an interesting thing because spatializer Spatializer is not really, in my opinion, it's not really a doubler. It's a widener, in my opinion, and uh, where this is a doubler with widening, I guess, properties, if that makes sense. Leela, apps are not Pokemon, apps are not Pokemon, apps are not Pokemon. Um, what was I going to add here? I was going to add a, I was going to add a vocal over here and we'll throw it on here. The other good thing is very low CPU for these as well. So really, really good. It's not a, yeah, uh, Spatializer isn't a doubler. It's it's like a, it's like a widener with some other, other uh, attributes, other uh, algorithms that do things, yeah? All right. Yeah, it's a spreader. Like my ex-wife. It's a spreader. It spreads misery. No, no, it doesn't spread misery. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hey, we've got some sound here. Hello. Let me turn this off. Boom, 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 boom. Well, well. as I um as I play with this mono you'll hear the phase actually come in and out oh. hear that phasing as I turn off the mono completely this is why the mono is really handy to have as soon as you get any phasing between these left and right drags you can bring this in I'll just hold a straight note and we've kind of killed that phase out of there. Yeah. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Let's try a default here. My will. Well. How would I use this? I'll tell you. This is how I would use this because I still like to double up my vocals. I just think no doubler will ever replace a lead vocal being actually double tracked. That's my opinion. And you may disagree with me and that's okay. That's what uh, opinions are for. Everybody has them just like assholes. Um, 
but what I would use this for and what I tend to do is I use doublers and things like spatializers and wideners, not so much on the lead vocal because you want that front and center and you want that to punch you right in the face. But any of your secondary tracks, so on your your doubled uh, vocal, because it's sitting lower in the mix than the, than the main vocal, that's where I would add something like this. So not only is it is it your doubled vocal track, it's got a doubler on it too to thicken it up and sit lower underneath to comfort it, support it, hug it, nestle in its bosom and all that stuff. So that's where I would definitely use something like this because again, overkill, uh, when you use things like a, a doubler, I find on your main vocal, you squash it. Yeah, it, it it's like adding reverb, right? When you add reverb to a vocal track, it gets it it loses volume because the reverb overwhelms it. Yeah, and it's the same with a doubler. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. So what we will do is just bin this for now. We'll get rid of this and let's open it up in a project or two. We'll open it up first with some metal and we'll throw it on, on a, uh, on some guitars. And what shall we use for the drunken sailor? We'll use, um, some Desir for some heavy guitars because Kev's got the best sounding heavy, heavy guitars. So here's a Desir track. So this is the old, the old sound with, uh, and we've got spatializer on here. So there's spatializer. So what I'm going to do before I mess with this too much, even though this is a really old mix, make sure, do I have another copy of it? Let's just make a copy of this just for fun. <laughs> it's always best to make a copy, a duplicate, in case you fuck things up. This is, uh, so we'll take out Spatializer. <laughs> oh man, I love you Garage Band. Now, why did that happen? That's Tone Bridge. Tone Bridge just crashed. It's a thing. Whenever there's too many things in a project, a uh, tone bridge struggles. There we go. So what we'll do here is, um, what have we got in here? We've got panner in here as well. I'm going to take panner out. Let's get rid of panner. Let's hear the difference. So we'll take out spatializer because I don't think I've got any room to put anything else in here. Delete. Let's bring in the doubler under Nimbrini doubler. Where are you? Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so we'll open this up, turn it off. Now we're getting phase, and that would be. Interesting. So, this is one track with the doubler on it.
let's go back to the start and bring them both here. Oh, God, what are you doing, Russ? <laughs> I'm just turning it on and off. You hear it's really subtle because I've, I don't have it on both guitars because I think it's overkill with both guitars. Uh, probably not the best. And again, what you need to remember is all the tones that are in here for this particular guitar track. Have EQ for certain other apps. So what I mean by that is, uh, so the EQ that has been set up for this particular guitar tone has been EQ'd for Panna and to be included in this and for Spatializer. So let's go back and... Now, you'll notice here, so transients are good for things like drums and, su and such like that. You'll notice if I choose the actual guitar preset in here, let's do it. So guitar left and doubled. Try this wide one. There we go. So the deal was there, we had this EQ in there that's been uh, EQ'd around two other different apps. So when we take out that visual EQ, you'll notice a much better uh, result. That's much better. So remember, uh, when you're EQing things uh, and you add something like this in, you have to change your EQ around what you're actually uh, adding to your mix. EQ is really great, but remember it is a volume and it's vo you're adding volume to frequencies. So when you add something like this doubler in here, the, the sensitivity knob here, this is messing with the transients, all right? So, and all of these are messing with frequencies. So if you're changing all these knobs as you, you've got an EQ already set, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is uh, if you're using this, is to kick off with no EQ on here. So you're getting a raw sound, then go into your EQ and EQ appropriately, like this. So 
So you can clearly hear there's a massive difference there. It's uh, taking out that single monotone sound in there, but then the EQ has to complement it. So remember that when you're adding things like these effects, EQ, EQ is a thing that has a massive effect on the effect that you're adding. So if we just add this panner in here now, Now we've lost heaps of the, the harmonics that are going on in there because Panna does its own thing as well too. Panna's uh, like a, a stereo widener kind of thing too. Got a, there's so many of these apps on the market, man. We have so many apps. Let's bring both of these in together. But where these really shine, I want to do this before we uh, get come to the end of this, is, and then we'll throw it onto piano or something, is solo tracks. Let's solo this. Where are we? Where are the solos in this? I think they're down here. I'll just do one of these, because these don't, this only has a flanger on it. So I think we're on here. So you should be able to hear that. Just a nice bit of doubling there. Is there any more solos in here? Let's see. I think we've got one over here. But I think you do get the idea of what's going on. What I'm going to do lastly is uh, sing some vocals into this, to one of these tracks. Where are we at? Uh, me and my brain. There we go. Should I do that? So we've got me and my brain here. This is the GarageBand version that I've uh, imported into uh, Aurea, which we'll continue working on very soon. Let's add a vocal track in here. We'll turn on monitoring. Boom, 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 boom. Now, what I'm going to do is add this last. Let's just uh, hit play. I don't know what to say. Coming, 
let's start it there. Let's do some vocals here. I don't want to make this too loud. I'll just turn off that other vocal so you're not getting sound there. Okay, you ready? I don't know what to say. Feels like I'm going insane. There we go. So that wasn't too loud, that vocal take. That's quite low, actually. I don't know what to say. Feels like I'm going Pretty dry insane. sounding. From constantly fighting the pain of the lonely Well, let's see what Doubler does to it. Does it help? I don't know what to do. Nobody's talking to you. Right, now we'll give it some EQ. Okie dokie. You can see what I mean. Because if I sing another track here, let's just do one more track and then we'll call it a quit for the day. Um, come on, let me do a duplicate. I'll probably just do the chorus here. Where's the chorus? Everything's okay, let's bring the mic back in and I'll show you what I mean. Take out this doubler. Everything's changed. I'm creating each day. Everything's changed. Okie doke. So now that's a main vocal, yeah? Let's uh, just turn that down. 
So now this is our main vocal and it's doubler should really comfort this. Everything's changed. I'm not the same. I'm creating each day. As I try to find the pain of the lonely, there's a fear in my brain. Let's bring that back a bit. Everything's changed. So just as this is how I would use it for vocals, just to thicken up that second track to give it a bit of a wide feel because it's going to be lower in the mix anyway. Here's our main track here. This is our secondary track. You can add as many tracks as you want for vocals. Mind you, remember it is 8 a.m. in the morning, so I'm singing incredibly low because I don't want to wake everybody up. I'm sure I've already woken up the house, which sucks. But there you have it. So... Um, pretty damn good stuff. Really good for guitar solos. That's the main thing it's it's really chunky for. You're going to get really good guitar solos. It's an additional thing that you can use this on things like pianos and stuff like that. So, you know, in synthesizers, you've got a whole bunch of synth patches as well. So definitely worth your time. It's an Embrini app. What can you say? They're, they're really solid with their apps. It always is the case. If I open up, uh, let's quickly, the last thing I'll do before... Maybe we can do a VHS demo. See if I can throw something on a synth here. What synths? We've got this VHS synth here. And we'll see what it does. We've got this Zoa project here. Let's just throw everything on here. And see what happens. Wow, could hear that straight away. Straight away, we've got a, a nice little wideness there. Again, it's subtlety. That's, that's what the thing is. It's very subtle. And that's what you want. So we've got some presets here. Got like a synth lead. What's this one? So there's no other effects on these. Subtlety is key. I'm going to go and add... I don't know what's in this last one. There's nothing in this last one. There you go. So you should be able to hear that. Let's bring them all back in. Much wider, thicker sound going on. And that's the importance of this stuff. Subtlety is the best thing. You don't want to like blow out your EQ. You don't want to blow out and, and make everything really crazy. Subtlety. And that's really nice about this app. It, it is nice and subtle and it's not going to uh, uh, fuck up your mix too hard. And you've got that little phasing knob there to sort out any phasing issues, which is really cool. 
All right, well, that will do it. I'm not sure what's going on the show tomorrow. What I'm going to do for you now is if you missed my premiere today, I'm going to go out with uh, the track I dumped today on my channel. So you can enjoy some lovely scenery from my uh, new drone that I've been flying. So this video that I shot and did a premiere of today is actually day four six and seven so i've only had i've only taken this drone out for seven flights <laughs> yeah i'm still getting used to using it hey what's going on zach you just made it for the end um so yeah I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to use this drone uh and I'm, I'm trying to get it all ready for the uh the video clip for this particular song this is the demo of me and my brain and i just thought i'd chop together a bunch of clips of me using the drone to see, uh, you know, am I getting better? Am I? I don't know. I think I'm getting better. I've also got a gimbal coming on the way. And next weekend, we're thinking of going to an abandoned mental institution I found here in Melbourne. And we're going to go and do a whole day's filming in this mental institution because the song's called Me and My Brain. It's about dealing with mental illness, mental health, being isolated. And I just think that all the footage in this abandoned mental institution will be really, really cool. So I'll have a brand new gimbal. I'll have the drone to fly around as well. Just fly through some windows fly through some of these cells and stuff i think it's going to be really interesting so yeah let's go out by playing this this is uh the uh thing i released today on a premiere and one more thing before i go i almost forgot remember guys we have coming up this week we're doing another warts show on criticism the gentle art of making criticism and the gentle art of taking criticism so i hope you can all join me for the warts series number 18 remember it is a safe space we don't want you to come in and talk shit and hurt people's feelings let's have a uh, an honest broad discussion on criticism and and uh, you know how everything isn't always awesome because life has ups and downs just like music yeah all right, let's do this. We'll go out and um, remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we all rise together. And this is the Me and My Marine demo with the uh, DJI Mini SE drone footage from the last two days that I took. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bye.
stomach. <laughs>